I know you see it, right? <laughs> I know you see it. I know you see it. I know you see it. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I know you see this, too. It is very cold. It is very cold to be having this drink. And it is also, the drink itself is very cold. So, we're going to get into it. We're going to have a good time. And just, a while ago, I put up a little questions bar on my Instagram. This is how I always do it. If you are new to the Candid with Cat. Oh, we're starting, we're starting the video. If you are new to the... Let me just... I think volume long. I think volume long. Fast, fast, fast. Okay, um, so a while ago I posted up on my Instagram and I talked about, I asked you guys a question. I didn't talk about anything. I asked you guys a question and I said, do you have a crazy ex story? And <laughs> yes, you did. You did, you did. Um, so this is, this is just, we're going to have a good time. We're going to share our stories. If you are new to the channel, why are you not subscribed? Please do subscribe, join the family. Let's have a good time. Let's wind down. Let's be good. Um, also, um, uh, click on that notification bell so that you know every time I upload a video. We're trying to get to 20K subscribers by June. I don't know if we'll get a 20K by my birthday, which is on the 7th of June, but we might get to 20K by the end of June. So let's, let's, let's work on it. Please, let's work on it. Please subscribe. Please. Let's get into Candid. Candid with Cat. Because we're going to talk about this crazy fucking exes. Okay, we're going to talk about these crazy people that try to pull some stunts. And then, uh, actually, in some of these cases, y'all are the crazy exes. I don't even know. Like, I read some of these stories, I'm just like, now why would you do that, sis? Why? Why? Alrighty, daddy, daddy, do. Okay. Okay, so before I get into the stories and before I share some of mine, which is always what I do in case you're new to the channel, I also share some of my crazy ex stories. In my case, they were crazy during the relationship and also after the relationship. So I'm going to share some, 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 some serious stories. Um, um, <laughs> you know how when you're in a relationship, with somebody, right? You're in a relationship with somebody. Isn't this nice? You like enjoy, you're having fun, you love each other, you know, you pay, you honey, you love, you daddy. <laughs> if you're South African and you know the daddy one, you should know what I'm talking about. You daddy, how? those kinds of situations you know you're in a relationship you're happy and um then things don't work out then you guys break up and then somebody just starts exhibiting some very very strange behaviors so we all have crazy ex stories i'll open the floor with mine um <laughs> which one should i start with okay between the two all right so i was dating this guy when i was Yo, psh, I was still driving my first car, so I was probably like around 19, 20, 21, somewhere around there. And um, I should have noticed with what he did during the relationship that this one might end up being a little bit crazy. This one might end up being a little bit crazy. So for the sake of names and, you know, non-disclosure non agreements that we have signed in the past, I'm just going to call him... Tebo. Alright, so I was in a relationship with Tebo around between 19 and 2021, right? And it was great. We had a good time and uh, I was still in varsity, very beginning of varsity and Tebo was staying with his sister. I grew up around Tebo when I was younger. I grew up around him and we knew each other and I had the biggest crush on him. He was fine. Okay, you need to understand, Hore, I, me, I'm very particular about the people that I'm with. I'm very particular. I'm very superficial, guys. Don't judge me, but I'm very superficial. He was very good looking. I don't know how he is now. I don't know how he is now because he's crazy as hell. But he was good looking at that time, right? And uh, around 18, 19, we decided eventually, like, oh, no, you know, yeah, let's give it a try. Let's be in a relationship. Let's be lovers. And it was lovely. 
the first indication that the war has a little bit of like like a screw like a, a bolt not a screw because a screw is small like a bolt that was missing was when Teboho went and he initialed my name he tattooed the initial the k of my name on his body that's the first thing that he did and he was uh, and, and it was a surprise because i didn't know they were staying with his sister and i used to go and visit them on fridays and i would stay with them the sister is older and i would stay with them for uh the weekend and we'd have a good time we'd have drinks we'd go out to party together we'd do all these things and we'd have a really really great time so when he got the tattoo i can't say where because that will expose him when he got the tattoo of my initial along with his initial as well so he got them together and had like little like my thing i didn't know about this he kind of just woke up one day and he went and i was coming to come see him um uh that later on that day and then he told me like i have a surprise for you and i said what what the, what is this surprise what is this? What is this? Okay, oh, it close my eyes. And then he's like, nah, it's on my body. And then I'm like, it's on your body. What is it? <laughs> and then he showed me the tattoo. And then I was, um, wow, maybe he's covered it up now. Who knows? And I was shocked. At the same time, I was just like, no, but why would you do this? What if we break up? He's like, we're not going to break up. We're forever. We're forever. And I was just like, oh, okay, okay, sir, okay, okay. So that should have been the first indication for me that there was a Timzala, right? Because you just don't do that. And we'd been together for a couple of months, even though he knew me longer, but we'd been together as an intimate relationship in couple for a couple of months. Then things started souring off as relationships normally do. And when that happened, his sister and I were very, very close. And I started seeing things in his room when I would go and visit him and his sister for the weekend. I started seeing things that just don't belong there. Like I would see a hairbrush. First and foremost, they will got cheese got. Okay? They will got cheese got. Now I'm seeing a hairbrush in this room. And then at some point I did see underwear that did not belong to me and then we started fighting and he would tell me that no i'm sorry it was just a once-off thing blah, blah blah and then i would we'd work it out we'd work it out okay we work it out with a whole lot of makeup tracks okay uh but we'd work it out and we fine and then eventually one day his sister calls me and she says i need you to come to our place and I say, why? And, I, and she says, I need you to come. So I go there and she says, I know that blood is thicker than water. And I know that this is my brother. But I also know what a good person you are. So I'm going to tell you. My brother has another girlfriend. I'm like, eh? Ore, what do you say? What do you say? And she says, my brother has another girlfriend. He comes here on the weekends. She comes here on the weekends that you are not here. And also sometimes during the week. And she goes on and she tells me the things and she tells me. And at this point, this girl is young. Maybe I'm like 20, 21 at this stage. And this girl is young, yo. She's young. She's like 19, 18, whatever. And I'm just like, wow, okay. She's like, yeah, I needed to tell you, you need to get it off my chest. I've been fighting with him about it over and over again and blah, blah, I'm done with it. I needed to tell you. So I'm like, okay, cool. This is what we're going to do. And then, and then she says, the sister's like, okay, what we gonna do, girl? Let me know, I'm in. I'm like, on a weekend that she's there, call me, I'ma pull up. I'ma come there and I'm gonna make shit shake. And then she's like, are you sure i'm like i am sure just call me and i am coming there so that happened one weekend she calls me on a saturday and she calls me on a saturday morning and she says the girl just arrived i'm like oh the girl is there the girl she's there and she's like yep and she's got an overnight bag i'm like oh so she's there for the weekend that's it's wonderful that's it's good. So I text him and I'm like, hey, can we link up? And then of course he lies. He lies. And he says, no, we can't. I'm a little bit busy. I'm working this weekend. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, ow. Oh, yo, 
your sister done sold your ass out. You got no idea. <laughs> so, I pull up D. I get my friend Dinelle, my best friend. I've spoken about her on this channel, and you've probably seen her video with me on this channel if you go all the way, way back. And um, I get to Dinelle's place. I change. I wear pants. I was wearing like a dress. I wear pants. I wear these like short pants, like, you know, denim shorts. I wear denim shorts. I wear a top. I tie up my hair because no, Loa. Because I'm gonna go fart. I'm gonna go fart. Okay? So I tie up my hair because I had this big curly, like, wig on. Not wig, like, plaits, but like, darling type afro kind of uh, uh plaits and i tied that up and i got ready because i was going to war do you understand what i'm saying so i get there i get the nail and i said come we're gonna go chill with this one sister we're gonna drink we're gonna get lady so and so is at that house you was like oh okay <laughs> you know gets ready as well she's like let's go fight let's go fight we get there I open the gate. Normally, this is what I would do all the time. So I would open the gate, uh, come in, park my car, and then the sister comes out. She's like, oh, hey. Now this one is standing outside, so he sees me drive in, and he immediately goes, and then he rushes into the house. He's going to go tell his chair to sit still and not leave the room. So then he comes back out again. I'm chilling with uh, his sister and D. I'm pulling out my camp chairs. Listen, we're going to sit there. We're going to drink. I was drinking Jameson at the time, whiskey. I was drinking Jameson. I'm like, we're going to sit out here and drink. And that's what we did for an hour because I needed to psych myself up. I needed to get ready for what's about to go down because I knew that I was going to step into that house. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. So then this one comes up to me and he says, how? And then what brings you here? I'm like, shouldn't you be at work? Didn't you say you were going to work? Why are you here? No, no, uh, 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 some construct some sort of lie because that's what men do. They lie, okay? So he lies and then I said, okay, fine. So then I get a little bit litty. And then Dinelle had a blunt on her and she says, listen, I've got a... And I... I don't like weed and I'm not going to, to, to publicize weed and whatever. I don't like weed. But that day, I needed to get in the zone. I'm like, give me that weed. I said, like, and man, it worked. It worked. Now, this one is busy outside doing laundry and he's washing her laundry. He's washing the new girlfriend's laundry. Go to, I don't know, or whatever. I don't know. he done been bewitched. Or something. He's washing her laundry. I'm like, okay, now cool. Cool. Then I decide to step into the house. The moment he sees me put my foot through the kitchen door, he is at the door. He beelines to the door. He's like, oh, oh, hold up, hold up. I'm like, hey, well, and then, you? No, no. Why are you going to the house? I'm like, I need to get something from your room. Why are you acting funny? I know why you acting funny, you little bitch. Why are you acting funny? And then he's like, no, what, what do you need to get? I'm like, ah, hey, hey, I'll go fetch it myself. It's fine. I'm going to get it myself. And he's like, no, bringing me at the door, bringing me at the door. He's telling his sister, hi, man, talk to Kateo. Hey, why, why is she trying to get, in, get into the house? Why is she trying to get into the house? <laughs> I got into the house. I managed to get right to the bedroom door. And now this door is closed. And I'm like, hey, Bo, why won't you let me get through the door? Now he's blocking. He's between me and the door. He's standing there. He's like, no, let's talk about this. Let's talk. I'm like, talk about what? Talk about what? I just want to go get something. Is there someone in there? And then he says, yes. I'm like, ow! Is that so? Is that all right? There is somebody in there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, my brother. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, my brother. Let's go. What do you mean? And then he opens, he's like, no, I'm not going to, no, I'm not going to do this. We're not going to do this. I'm like, listen, if you're not going to get through past this door, I'm going to have to fight you to get past this door. So you're either going to move or there's going to be a fucking guri up in this house. There's going to be a, there's going to be a problem. And that's on Mary had a little then. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what do you even mean? So eventually he moves from the door. I open the door and a yay, 
Missus is sitting there reading a magazine. I'm like, hello. And then, who are you? It's like, hi. Now she can tell. I need to say she's been tipped. She's been tipped with the eight. Hey, such and such a person is outside. Now she can tell who it is. She's like, hi. She starts speaking softly. I'm like, hey, Kuluma, yini. Ulgiswain. Kuluma, what's the problem? No, my name is there. I'm like, oh. What's your name? And then she says her name again. I'm like, wait a minute. Is your mom's name so and so? And she's like, yes, that's my mom's name. I'm like, God damn. Your mom and my mom are friends. What do you mean? <laughs> oh. So now I'm standing at the door between him and this girl. And I'm like, baby girl, what brings you here? Oh, so you're busy? I use a whole lot of words that I cannot put on my channel. I refuse. Just know, Hore. I came down the mountain with the girl, okay? I came down the mountain with the girl. And then eventually it got real heated that I had to be dragged out of the house. That's all I'm gonna say. I had to be dragged out of the house. I didn't leave the property, no. Like I can tell you one thing, the girl left the property. I didn't leave the property. No, no I didn't, no I didn't. I sat outside, I had to be dragged out of the house. The sisters dragged me out the house. Dinelle was busy screaming at this girl like, you. Listen, it's a whole entire thing. And I'm she leaves the house. As she leaves the house, um, he walks her out. So she leaves the house and he comes back and he decides, wow, the mess that just happened, I'm gonna get wasted. I didn't talk to him for the remainder of the afternoon. I was chilling and then more friends came and then it was a bunch of us. By the end of the night, I think there were eight or nine of us there. So he's now nice and litty. And now he's got the courage, you know, I'll call courage, man. He comes up to me and he says, I'm really sorry, what, what, how many minutes are we on? He comes up to me and he says, I'm really sorry about this, 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 and you know I love you. And I'm like, Utagiwe, Utagiwe, Ven, you must be drunk. Like, what do you even mean? What do you say? What do you say? She said, I love you. She said, I love you, man. And I love her. And I'm in love with two women at the same time. I'm like, ah, Kiera, right here, Kiera, what? What are you talking about? Let me make it simple and make it easy for you. Jemoba, you are in love here and you are in love here. I'm going to make it clean and simple for you. I'm a girl. That's that on that. Yabana Jay today is finished. I came here, I did what I need to do. I gave somebody a nice little hot clap. I'm okay. Me, I did what I need to do. I'm fine. I'm out. And when we did break up, oh my God, the calls, the Facebook messages, it honestly got out of hand. The calling my friends and talking to my, and asking his mother to sit down with me and talk to me. I had, I remember at some point I was meeting his mother and his mother was just like, no, then I'm yes, hey, what, what? And I was just like, mommy, no. We're not together anymore. And he decides to call me a couple of years later where he's now got two other kids. And then he wants to tell me that, uh, so he's got three. So he had a kid with that one and then he had two more with different people. And then he decides to call me and tell me that I'm the actual real love of his life. Are you mad? Are you mad? Like literally, I, I just... <sighs> you crazy. You mad crazy. <laughs> hey, you're mad crazy. Bonkers. Okay. All right, let me get into some of your stories before I get into continue with mine. So I took some screenshots. Let's see. From the archives. Um, the first story is my ex broke up with me after months because... My ex broke up with me after months of dating because he wanted to date a virgin. Why? What? What? Make it make sense. Somebody make it make sense. I'm trying to understand why. What? What? What is it about the virgin? Why? Why must he date the virgin? So, so, so. What is he saying? Fucking buck. Okay. Another one says he cheated on me with my friend and her younger sister. And then he got the younger sister pregnant. Jeez. Jesus! Jesus! Yabona ke loyo, ngqulile. 
So he cheats on you with her friend, with your friend, and the younger sister. He's either Ungolile, that's a fact, he's dirty, 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 or he's got a lot of game. How does he, I, I can never imagine my sister and I ever, but what? Naledi and I, God damn it. Okay. Um, this, another one says, he stalked me on social media and followed me to every club I went to and decided to cause scenes. They do that a lot, don't they? They seem to really love causing scenes. I'm not quite sure, Wuti, what is it about causing a scene that makes you feel like you're more of a man? Why must you cause a scene? Why must you make it a thing? Don't make a thing not a thing. A thing that's not a thing a thing. Why are you making a thing that tried to take his life because we broke up? Girl, I have a friend who was in the same situation. A very good friend of mine broke up with her boyfriend at the time and he tried to take his life. He really tried to take his life. I can't even mention him because he's a well-known person. I can't even mention him. He tried to take his life. What is why? It's, he's trying to hold you back like, if you don't, if you don't take, make it work with us, I'm going to kill myself. Hey, can you imagine the pressure? I'm here, I'd be like, uh, do what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. I'm sorry. I, you're not going to hold me hostage because me, I'm ready to move on and move forward with my life. And then now you, because you don't want to move on, hey, you miss me now. <laughs> I spent 1,000 Rand on an Uber to go see him and then he ghosted me. That's funny because I'm doing a, a video on ghosting after this. That's funny. Um, I spent 1,000 Rand on an Uber to go see him and then he ghosted me for a month after that day. 1,000 Rand to go and see him. You know, I have very, very personal and very deep rooted edge things and opinions and ideas about ghosting but i'll talk about those in and you were in matric you spent a thousand rand to the matric how much money do you have i hope you are not using child and as far as i can never say it <laughs> i hope you are not servicing child allowance or yeah as far as busy more spending a thousand rand on an uber where the hell was he botswana where is he when you're spending an Uber for a thousand rand? Hey, baby. No. And I'm to look at you now. Look at you now, ghost. Cha. Cheated with me with more than 10 girls. Yes, all at once. Sheesh. I would really love to know how you found out, sis. How'd you find out? How'd you find out? Please tell me how you found out. Oh my God. 10 girls. 10 girls. Oh, oh. Yeah, there's certain things I want to say and I just can't say. I just can't say. Take a oopiezy. Oopiezy. Go, he's doing it all over and it's just like I'm a swim on deck all over town. <laughs> he bought me apples. I'm not laughing. He bought me apples for Valentine's Day. What must happen? What, what must happen with the apples? I. Trying to whiten your teeth. I, I, I don't know. What, what, who would buy apples for Valentine's Day? Apples? He didn't buy those apples, sis. He got those apples from somewhere and then packaged them nicely and then was like, Happy Valentine's Day. Now my apple. What are you even made? What are you He left me on the highway at night alone just because I refused to speak to him because I was upset. Now that's a foul man. Why would you do that? And then now why did you get out of the car? Why would you be left on the highway in the middle of the night? He pride, Yako. He pride. Do you want to risk your life because of he pride? Okay, so yes, okay, I'm going to get out the car. It's fine. For pride? At night. Alone. He's a foul human being. I don't, I, <clears throat> I don't, I don't know him and I don't like him. Uh-uh, nope. I had a bad day and I decided to call him and I ended up breaking down. Dude told me to call him back after I'm done crying. Sukala man, sukal, 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 sukal. Phone number, number to call. Phone number, number to call. Doop, doop, doop. You. What a wow. What a wow. What a rubbish. What a mess. Uh uh. No, sis. No. Bring back all the things I bought for you. 
and the money I spent on you. You see those ones? Those ones are not meant to have girlfriends or boyfriends or partners in life because the reality is when you're in a relationship with somebody, you're going to spend money. Whether you're spending the money on drinks, whether you're spending the money on presents, whether you're spending the money on food, on, on, on whatever, bags, clothes, whatever. It's indecent and it's distasteful for you to want those things back. What are you going to do with them when you get them back? Are you going to give them? To, are they men who actually give them to their new girlfriends? Are they men who actually do that? Because that's wild. <laughs> that's fucking wild. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't believe it. Are there gents who actually do that? Because that's wild, bruh. He hid my shoes when I visited him and I had to leave with his big size 11 shoes. <laughs> and he kept telling people that love is blind. <laughs> love is blind, eh? You're blind enough to put on size 11 shoes. He hid my place for over two weeks telling his girlfriend that he's staying at his grandma's. Hobosexual, anybody? Use one, two beds, one stone, clean. And now he's staying with you and your sweet self. Meanwhile, he's telling his girlfriend, and the person who's talking here is a guy. The person who sent me this is a guy, is a gay guy. Follow the story. He stayed at my place for over two weeks telling his girlfriend that he's staying at his grandma's. Not only, he's a, not only is he a, a homosexual, but he's experimenting. Clearly, he's not sure about his, his, his sexual orientation. Or is he bisexual? What's going on? What, what is the thing? And in our way, you allowed him. You also allowed him to stay at your, at your place while he's busy calling people, calling the girlfriend and telling to the girlfriend that, nah, so I'm staying at my grandma's house. And you allowed it? You fed him? You fed him all the things? that we feed people. <sighs> he disappeared for two weeks, came back and said he had COVID. He was already in a new relationship. COVID relationship. Let me tell you something. COVID ca came with the disintegration of many, many relationships. Myself included, baby girl. So, <laughs> disappeared for two weeks after the COVID, yeah. I can imagine that there were probably so many stories when it came to COVID and people saying that they have COVID. Sus man, yuck. So I was in, my next story is, so I was in a relationship with this gent, great guy, and um, uh, I have a friend. So I went to Monash and I've got a number of friends who don't live in South Africa. I met them during school, school times. And uh, this one friend I met around the time that I was in Monash, and he stays in Ghana. He's originally Ghanaian, and he's great, and he's wonderful. And I think we should be friends again. No, we're actually still friends. I was talking to him yesterday. So anyway, um, so I was in a relationship, a long-term relationship, with a man who was not this past relationship, the one before that, with a man who was rather jealous very 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 jealous that one night you know he had visited and we were asleep and what have you and i'm i'm assuming that i was completely lights out i was gone lights out fast asleep and i normally keep my phone by my bedside table so i feel like he was getting up to go to the loo and my phone kind of beeped right a message or whatever so he went and he looked at the message all the message said was, hey, babe, that's it. That's all the message said. And it was around 11 o'clock at night. Now, this message was coming from my friend from Ghana, right? And in Ghana, there's a two hour difference. So in Ghana, it was 9 p.m. In South Africa, it's 11 p.m. So we were sleeping. And the hey babe comes in, which is typically what he calls me all the time anyway. So the hey babe comes in, he sees it, and then he continues about his business, does his business in the loo, and then comes back and then falls asleep. Wake up the following morning, we're both going to work, and 
he gets up, he's in a mood, he's sour, he's just mad. And like, he's like, you understand? And I'm just like, okay, what's going on? Are you okay? Like, you seem like you woke up on the, on the wrong side of the bed. He's like, oh, oh, do I? Do I seem like I woke up on the wrong side of the bed? Yeah, I guess that's what will happen when you start seeing other men texting your woman at 11 o'clock at night saying, hey, babe. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? So I'm like now confused because I didn't see this message. I was fast asleep. So I'm like, what? What are you talking about? He's like, yeah. People calling you babe, Kateo. Like he starts throwing his toys out the cot. He got so aggressive with me, so aggressive with me, that he charged at me and then he stopped himself. And then I was like, what are you doing? Now at this point, I'm very upset at the fact that who the hell you think you is? What you trying to do? Get out my house. What are you doing? Why are you charging at me like you're some fucking buffalo at, a, at, a, at an Argentinian what, 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 buffalo race? What are you doing, man? And then he's just like, yeah, I can't believe this. You cheated on me. You cheated on me. I'm like, I'm not cheating on you. Let me see. And I look at my phone and I say, I'm like, oh, okay, it's my friend from Ghana. Blah, blah. I met him when I was in Monash and all of that. And he's like, no, it's not. You cheating on me? He starts screaming, blah, blah, blah. You know, he's just losing his shits. And then he says, if he's just your friend, give me his number. I want to call him. I'm like, yeah, no. No, relax. What we're not finna do is that. No, you're gonna, we're gonna call him. If it's nothing, then we're gonna call him. I want to call him. I'm like, okay, we can call him with my phone. No, no, we're not gonna call him with your phone. I wanna call him. I'm like, yo, I, okay. I gave him my friend's number and he left my house and he went to work. And I went to work and I didn't speak to him for the whole day. And then he, my friend from Ghana calls me and he says, I got a call earlier on today. And I'm like, yeah, okay. And then he's like, yeah. So your boyfriend called me to <laughs> tell me off. And he starts laughing because there really is nothing going on between the two of us. It is just friends, right? I even opted to show him my phone so they could see the records the, between the chats between us. So he could see he refused. So I was just like, oh, okay then. And he's like, yeah, so your, your boy called me and um, your man's, your man's called me, your boy called me and uh, started screaming at me and telling me that, yeah, I must stay the fuck away from you and whatever, whatever. I'm like, what the hell? Really? And he's like, yeah, he's talking about how he'll come to Ghana if he has to. I'm like, what, are, what do you mean? <laughs> And then I'm like, okay, no, cool. So he laughs it off. He's like, listen, it's not a big deal. It's fine. I forgot the time difference between Ghana and SA. It's fine. I'll just text you during the day from now on and whatever. I'm like, okay, cool. And I hung up. Then I called him. I'm like, so you did call him. He's like, yeah, yeah. You need to understand that this is unacceptable. You're my girl, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, yo, whoa, calm down, relax. What is the problem? Why you so? Hi, man, don't be this guy. Don't be this gent. Don't be this gent. Don't be this guy. Don't be this guy. Alright, I'm gonna read the next last couple of ones. Um Alright, it's been three years now. No, oh, hang on. It starts here. After catching him cheating on me, we broke up. We both then moved on. But the one problem started when I found myself a man, and then my cheating ex started telling people that I'm bewitching. <laughs> Yay! If he wanted love back, why didn't he just ask for love back? Why is he going around telling people that you're bewitching him just because you now have a new man? Psh. It's been three years now, but should anything bad happen to him, I'm the very first suspect. Imagine the nerve. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Jeez. And then this is the problematic girl. I lied to him that I was pregnant when he ended things. And now he believes I had a miscarriage up to now. Girl. Girl, hi, Wena. You don't lie about things like pregnancies and miscarriages and all of that. No, as somebody who's gone through a miscarriage, no girl, don't ever do that again. You, mm, you were trying to save. Mm, mm, mm. Girl, don't do that. <laughs> what do you even mean? No. So I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm pretty much done with my beer, thank goodness, because I didn't want to open another one. I hope you guys enjoyed this version of Candid with Cat. 
If you did, subscribe, click the bell, and I will see you in the next video. Don't be crazy exes and run from the crazy ones. Run. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye.